This is Andy from Centennial Printing with another episode in our series of Microsoft Publisher Tips. This one we're going to prepare a file for printing and then make a PDF, a PDF from that. We're using Publisher 2010. You can do the same in older versions, but the settings will be in a different location, so you should consult your uh, documentation. So first thing we need to do is we need to make a few changes here. So we're going to the file under info and down here we have commercial print settings. So for commercial printing we want to be in a CMYK color mo model and not the RGB. But before we do that I will want to show you something. Let's go back to our postcard. Now you'll notice this bar. It's kind of a green color. So let's go back and change our uh, our color mode under commercial print settings again color mode now you see it defaults to RGB that's publishers default but for commercial printing you want a process color CMYK check that box and it's going to convert all the colors to CMYK okay, now if we go back and take a look at our postcard now you'll notice that the color changed. That's because we're in a CMYK mode and not RGB mode. So it's a good idea before you even start your publication, if it's going to be printed at a commercial printer, you want to set those colors to CMYK. Now we'll get an accurate representation of the colors you're going to get on the finished piece. Now we have a bleed here, but it just goes right to the edge and that's going to be a problem what we want is we want to pull that out at least an eighth of an inch so I'm going to just pull that out like that and over here we've got a flower so let's go ahead and right click we've got the crop tool we've got a lot of image here so let's go ahead and just grab uh, the edge here and expose a little bit more of that flower so we have a bleed so now when we go to cut, when we cut through here, it, the color is going to go all the way to the edge or the image and over here also. If not, there's a chance of when it's in the cutting stage, you might have a white line there and we don't want that. Okay, let's go back to File, Info. One other setting we need to change and that's Manage Embedded Fonts. So what we want to do here is we want to embed the true type fonts when saving publication. So we want to check mark that. So what that does is that embeds all the fonts. So when we make our PDF, uh, all the fonts will be there. We won't have issues when it's uh, opened up on a different uh, computer. So click OK. Now we're ready to make our PDF. So let's go down here to Save and Send. Create PDF and then over here create PDF. So it's asking just to save it. But before we do that, we need to make a few settings here. Let's go up under options and we're going to set it for commercial press. And then we're going to come down to print options. And you'll see uh, in the preview here now we pulled out for bleed but it's not uh, showing up here and if we just clicked OK and created our PDF we wouldn't have bleed so we need to add that bleed back on there so we're gonna check in printer marks on these three things here and now we're gonna change the size I'm gonna go to custom and it's a 4 by 6 postcard for this example we're gonna add a half an inch so we're going to make that 6.5 and 4.5. And what that does is it basically adds a quarter inch all the way around our document. So now when we look at the preview, you can see the marks are showing up, and that's what we want. Click OK, and we're set here, OK. And now we're ready to publish. So we just give it a name and publish. And here it is open in uh, Adobe Reader and you can see the crop marks are right there and if we go to cut 
we'll, be, we'll cut right through that bleed area and we'll have a nice uh, uh, finished piece. So for more tips, visit us at centennialprinting.com.